Welcome to the home of the 2007 Stanley Cup champions, the Anaheim Ducks. And we are rolling in Southern Cal tonight. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. The Ducks will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. And some good... Richards shakes off the coverage. There's a chance on the backhand. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Anaheim's got it, and they're on the attack. And it's a quick pass to Silverberg. Jocelyn to the puck, and he loses control. Quick pass to Kopitar. Slides the pass over to Kempe. Oh, lights out. Hit in the open ice. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. has it in their own end. Moves it to Byfield. Sends a pass over. Scores! And they're on the board quickly in this one. That's because they were ready, James. Uh, I mean, the first five strides right from puck drop were urgent. And when you're aggressive and you're urgent on the puck, you find a way to put it in. We've been trying to find some holes or weaknesses to his game, James, but I mean, that shutout streak has been there for a reason. He has been so impressive, actually fantastic between the pipes. So it's going to come to an end tonight, but man, he has been outstanding. The Kings are on the board quickly in this one, and a nice start here, the way that they've been moving the puck around. Well, a really great start for them, James. It's all about getting everyone into the game, establishing some pressure, and finding a way to get on the board. They do just that. Now they've established a 1-0 lead. It's about holding it and pushing for more now. Byfield's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you got to be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. and it went out, but they're still a game. They have to fight right to the end. He says, let's get physical on that play. Anaheim's on the attack. The Kings have it against the wall. Takes the feed. Fired into the offensive zone, allowing for the blue line to change things up. Picked up along the wall by Nash. Picked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. They go on the attack through center. Freak's got it deep in the offensive end. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Lewis. Los Angeles is on the attack. And that's intercepted by Niskanen. The Ducks have been picking off passes left, right, and center. You know the coach is going to like this, but it has to transition to offense. Well, this game's awfully close. Poked away at center by Tippett. And he hangs on to the puck. Ross is taking it from his own end. From the right side, they gain the zone. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Now the puck's on his stick. He's still waiting for his first. Will he get it today? The Kings move to the offensive zone. They'll dump it in and peel off for a change. Pass to Richards. Coughs up possession of the puck. Slides it over with pace to Anderson. Devastating hit into the wall. I think he tried to turn him into drywall on that 
play. He's a power forward, and part of his game is delivery and executing hits. Well, he certainly did there. Taken by Anderson. Passes the puck over to Fiala. LA's got him along the wall. Slides the puck down low. Chris made another nice save here, James. And yes, his team is trailing, but they got to find a way to garner some momentum on their own. Yes, he had a shutout last game, but he's not going to be perfect all the time. they got to start moving. Picked up along the boards by Kopitar. And he takes the feed and tries to make a diagonal pass to Dowdy. And that plays offside. we got a face-off coming up. Past the halfway mark of this period, LA's up one step. Champions quick stick lands from the puck here at center. And he takes the feed. Oh, he caught all of that. What a save by Riddick. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. champion. Loses the coverage there. The Ducks will play it against the wall. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Moore. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Well, he's going to get a boarding call on that one, James. Really aggressive and throws his opponent into the boards. Team's unit. Well, the top rated power play in the league gets their first opportunity. And man, have they been waiting for this one. And that's a smart heads up play by Rossi. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Good hit to knock the puck loose. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Quick feed to Fiala. Moves it to the middle. Scores! What a finish on the play! Coaches are always harping on pass execution. Well, this is a clear example. When the pass is crisp and it's on the tape, it's on the money, it finds the back of the net. Gone ahead by one here in the opening frame, but the way things have been playing out, I feel like this is only the beginning here, Cheryl. Well, wow, when you play with the lead, sometimes you can take a breath. You can just have that sense of relief and you just ease up on your stick a little bit, James. I really like the habits, though, their attention to details in this game. Now they gotta find a way to continue that effort and see if they can extend the lead by more than just one. Both sides getting ready for this face-off, and Sheriff can think of a keeper right now who would love nothing more than another bit of here. Well, he's extremely fatigued, right, James? Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. If you're on the offensive side of the puck, you want to continue to wear down your opponent because you know that this goaltender's fatigued, he's vulnerable, and you've got to find a way to capitalize on the opportunity. And now he moves it quickly to Brink. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. And 
Anaheim's had the shot advantage here in this first period, but they still find themselves down. Michaels won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. And a great save! We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Here in the late going to the period, Los Angeles is in the driver's seat. They lead it 2-1 in what has been a very spirited affair. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. Richards has it along the boards. Anaheim's got the puck. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. That knocks him off the puck. Los Angeles plays it against the boards. Battle along the wall. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. With some open space at center. Slides the puck over. Jones has it in the defensive end. Penalty coming up. Sends it into the offensive zone. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, that's a tough penalty to take at the end of a period, and it's all about the PK unit now. They've got to kill the time off, get to the intermission where they can reset. Shooting through traffic is an art, James. Not everyone can do it. You gotta find a way to get the puck through. And when you have players that have the IQ and the shot, this is exactly what you do on your power play. You get it up high, and then you shoot the puck. But you need net front presence. You need hard, physical bodies in front to be able to collect the rebound and bury it. Los Angeles has possession of it now. Takes it along the wall by Byfield. And he passes it up ahead to Anderson. Fires it on net. Big save just as time runs out. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more in a moment. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Short-handed unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Grabbed along the board by Kaliev. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Takes the pass. And the puck clears the zone. Sends the pass across the ice. Oh, that's a rattler. Did you hear those boards and a successful clearing attempt. Los Angeles with possession in their own zone. Takes it in front. Oh, what a stick save. Well, players should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Receives the pass. And he takes the dish. Los Angeles has it in the offensive end. And the stick absolutely falls as he tries to unleash the shot. Great glove save. Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. Deneau's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. LA's won the draw. Shoots it. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Rossi's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Anaheim's won the defensive zone draw. Oh, he hammered him. Oh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. Picked up along the wall by Anderson. Oh, one of his teammates was right in the shooting lane there. Moves it quickly over to Faber. Michaels almost out of the box. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Both sides back to even strength. Nothing like a strong PK to just elevate the team right from the bottom to the top of the roster. This takes hard work, and they certainly showed why they're on that unit. Faber swooping in on the attack. Puts it on net. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Riddick. 
Anaheim's got it near the point. Now you might call that friendly fire as it goes off one of his teammates. Wow, what an incredible shift. They're so urgent all over the offensive zone. Coaches love these types of shifts. And now he moves it to Deneau. Fires it. Big time stop. And he's knocked off the puck there. Los Angeles takes hold of the puck. Feeds it over. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Chris styled in and able to redirect that puck to the corner. And he slides it quickly to Brink. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Hammers one! Scores! That's how you put it in the back of the net! Uh, they come from behind here, James, to get the equalizer, and they created some much needed momentum. They stayed with the game plan, and they've been rewarded for their efforts. Well, defensive zone turnover catches everyone off guard, including the goaltender, and he cannot cover the top of the net. He's scrambling, not set to position, and that puck goes high. Closer to the midway mark of this period, we got a tie game. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. The Ducks have it from their own end. Tosses it to Brink. Broken up at center by the Ferriere. The Kings have played from the corner. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Great reach with the poke check by Edmondson. What a steal in his own end. Now a quick pass to Edmondson. He carries the puck up along the wing. Grabs control of it at the point. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Two on one. Here we go. Slides it across. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Anaheim's won the draw, now let's see what they can do with it. Puck scooped up by Jones. The Kings take it across the blue line. Here's a shot! Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out! Rossi's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Sent into the offensive zone. And great hustle to come up with the puck. And that's deflected. The Ducks go to work on offense. And he slides it quickly to Darlene. Quick shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Slides it across. Scrum ensues along the boards. Here's a short pass to Rossi. My goodness, they are really starting to dial up the pressure here now. And now he tries to get it across to Cheneau. Here's a chance to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Well past the midway mark of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Kopitar's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Can't hang on after that hit. Anaheim's looking to break out. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. It's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Handles the puck. Blocked in traffic. The Kings will play the puck from behind the net. From the point, looks to make something happen. Shuts him down. Sends the pass over. And now it's grabbed by Gavrikov. Knocked away with the stick by Faber. Long pass across the ice. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Quick shot. Big time stop. Gets a blocker on it. Passes it over. Scores! There it is. The go-ahead goal. And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. Important. He gets beat clean by the shot, James, and he's only one player in front of the net, but it's not about how many, it's about where you are, and when you take away the eyes of the tender, this is exactly what can
can happen. The Ducks are up by one, and this is certainly a team that seems to play with more confidence when they're not chasing the game, Cheryl. Yeah, it's always better to be when you're in front, James. I mean, you know that you have the lead. You have a little more confidence when the puck's on your stick, but there's a lot of runway left. They have to play with that confidence, but they have to manage the puck as well. Centering pass, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Ducks have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. And he gets in front of that rocket. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. The Ducks gain the zone. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Excellent stick work on the play. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Big save. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's why you see from a young age them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Late goings of this period. Anaheim's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Jostling for the puck, but still maintains possession. Certainly pass, and that's stopped. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Anaheim's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they lead it here late in the second. The Ducks win the faceoff. Takes that pass back at the point. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. The Ducks have it now. Takes it a center. Great reach with the poke check. Anaheim's got the puck behind the net. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Through center along the wing. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Darlene. Gaining momentum along the wing. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment. in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams and we're ready to go. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Kings are right where they should be in this game, James, and that is behind entering the third period. Why? They just haven't had the puck. It hasn't been on their stick, which means they haven't been able to generate anything offensively. period they have been the far busier team offensively tonight the Ducks win the draw scooped up along the wall by Niskanen oh that's one way to make space for yourself moves the puck down low Richards plays against the boards that's blocked Kopitar is really laboring out there looks like he's going to make it to the bench but he's struggling to finish this shift Wax it into the offensive zone. Anaheim's got the puck. Quick pass to Michael. And he moves it up to Richards. Takes the feed. Handles the pass. Sends it ahead to Champion. 
Silverberg's had such an impressive night offensively. You know that's his wheelhouse as he loves to have the puck on his stick. He creates, he's confident with it. And he's got a multi-point game. Keeps the hold of the puck after that knock. Takes the puck. My goodness, the pressure really building here in the offensive end. Lopatar is trying to find a way to get back to the bench and not put this team in a vulnerable spot. You can see that he's been injured somewhere on the shift. He's laboring and he's rinsing, but he's committed to the play. He's got to find the appropriate moment to get off. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's a one goal. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Poked away in the neutral zone by Silverberg. Play is blown dead with the offside. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face off set to go. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Anaheim's got the puck against the boards. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're peaking. in the defensive end. Michaels on the attack in the offensive zone. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. And look at this. All sorts of pressure here building. And the defense come away with it here. They go back to the line. And they've got it in their own end now. And they finally end the attack as they clear the zone. Nash's stick breaks and he's lost bench and gets a new one. Wow, he gets back into the play quickly. Big opportunity here on the power play with this offensive zone face-off. Well, a lot of ice available to get the goaltenders extremely fatigued. Get a move in east-west. Moves it to Dowdy. Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Great save by the goaltender on that redirect. One of his greatest gifts is his speed, but he doesn't slow down when the puck is on his stick. That often happens to many players in the game, but not him. He creates his own openings, and he just can't bury it there. I mean, it's a nice save by the goaltender because he's such a threat. And he takes the pass. The Ducks gain possession. Tippett's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Here comes the six. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded. James, you got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. might be wide open. Champions gliding the puck along the line. Trying to gain a step. He's clear. Oh, puts it wide of the net. How can you do that? You hate to see that, James. And you got to wonder if a little bit of panic when you're one-on-one -on -one with attendee, you know you got to score. Moore's penalty has expired, but they remain shorthanded, and he joins the kill. LA's got the puck along the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. The Ducks will play it in their own end. He's got a step. Scores on the breakaway. It's a blaze of glory to finish. Yeah, and you know that when he's one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender, he is right where he wants to be, and that's where he finishes best. It's his deception. He gets the goaltender to bite almost every time, and then he puts it in. He's just incredible on the breakaway. He's got poise and calm with the puck. He doesn't panic. He reads what the goaltender is doing, and then he does the opposite. Getting to 
closer to the halfway point of this frame. The Ducks now lead by two. Anaheim's won the draw. They take possession here in the open ice. And that's poked away. Tosses it on to Kempe. Quick feed to Anderson. Takes a lot, but still hangs on. Anaheim's looking to break out of their own end. Gains the zone on the left wing. Los Angeles looks to break out in their own end. Fialo's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Scores! Well, just what the doctor ordered, and they cut into the lead. Oh, yeah, after that goal, you can sense the momentum shift, James, and it's all about swinging and seeing if they can string a couple of good shifts together and get the equalizer. They've narrowed it within one. Los Angeles hasn't rolled over in this one. That goal has suddenly made this one a one-goal game. They're hunting and they're hounding because they want it. You can feel it. It's the energy that's coming off of the bench. You know that the coach is talking about retrieval and owning and possessing the puck. They did that on that last goal. Moves it quickly over to Kempe. Takes the puck at the point. Kempe is able to corral that pass. He's got the puck on his stick. You know he's dangerous. He's got two in the game and he's looking for another. Quick stop! Oh, he got pounded by Riddick! Well, goaltender has to be able to anticipate the play, and he does just that. Gets square to the shooter in the low slot and makes the save. The Ducks have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. And a stick breaks that up. Los Angeles has it in the defensive end. Moves it on over to Lewis. Fires it into the offensive zone. Slides it diagonally to Richards. Backtracks with the puck, but maintains possession. Oh, huge hit against the wall, and you know they felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically, pay the price, use your body, and get the puck. the midway mark of the frame. Anaheim's got a one-goal lead here. They're up 4-3. The Ducks win it in the defensive zone. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. Unable to reach that one. Reed's going to play it against the half wall. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Oh, and they can't keep the puck in the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Sends it across the ice. And that's knocked away by Spence. Well, the game certainly isn't predictable, is it, James? As it's going back and forth, goals from all areas as players shoot from all angles and attack the zone. Los Angeles moves it ahead. Picked up along the boards by Nash. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Jostling for the puck, but still moves away. And now he moves it quickly to Kempe. Right through, center and into the offensive zone. Here's a chance, and it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. The Sharks are coming up for the next game, and I was just told a little while ago that a few extra seats have been released for this one, so if you haven't got your tickets yet, you know what to do. Champions won the draw here in the defensive zone. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Here's a short pass to Faber. Takes a shot. Turned aside with that glove by Riddick. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. A critical draw here. Anaheim's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Slides it back to the blue line. Nice poke check. Dishes it off. Sends a pass over. And he slides it quickly to Silverberg. Oh, how did he stop that with the one-timer? Slides it. 
Frank to Kempe. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Gives him a jolt with that hit. Great use of the stick at center by Doughty. Works it across to Johns. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Johns. Handles the puck at the point. Stones him in front. Riddick has been so consistent throughout tonight's game, and I mean, he's made timely saves as well. A lot of shots that he's faced, and his save percentage is an indicator of it. Getting into the later stages of this period. The Ducks lead it 4-3. Anaheim's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Point shot! LA's grabbed a hold of the puck. Across the line. And he takes the feed. Nearing the final minute of the third. Moves it to Kaprikov. And he serves it across to Moore. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. The Ducks gain control of the puck. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Shot blocked in front. LA's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed to Fogel. And he takes the feed. Puck grabbed by Darlene. Moves it around along the half wall. Huge stop by Riddick. And he comes up big again. On the sequence of saves, I love how strong he is in his set position here, James. You can see that he gets square to the shooter, and that makes the second it's save up. easier. That's it! They've tied it up! They've tied it up before the final buzzer! Oh, uh, this is shocking, James. I was staring up at the clock and watching the seconds tick away, and boom, they score. That is a deflator. Let's see who wins this one now. It's tied. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Here's a change. Uh, okay, what do I do? Champions quick stick lands on the puck here at center. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Centering pass! And he denies that great opportunity there. There's the horn. Giving an inch to each other tonight, and so we'll go to overtime next. Are you hashtagging overtime challenge on social media? Because they're ready to get it underway. Time to find out if we get a winner here. Overtime, the puck is dropped. Bufflin's got it in the defensive end. Gain momentum up along the side. Looking to end it! Oh, we are still tied! What a stop! A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Kopitar's won the faceoff. Slides the puck over. Game on a stick! Then we'll play on! Oh, he's so frustrated at that. He wanted to be the hero and convert in overtime, James. Instead, you see the frustration on him. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. LA's trying to make something happen. Scores! They take it in overtime! Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net.
Well, that brings the night to an end, and we will say goodbye here from ringside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. I gotta get to bed. See ya.